Ethan. What's the word? Everything is all a joke. No. no. Have some good uh, stuff. Yep. So today we're going to go on a Civil War relic <laughs> troll train hunt. This is a really good woods. I'm here with my friend Rob. He's already digging, so we're going to get right at it too as soon as the troll train quiets down. But I want to show you something real quick. The Civil War trenches in here that, uh, well, they go all the way through the woods and they're really cool. I know they're probably really hard to see. Uh, with the camera, but if you see that line of that shadow right there, the trench actually kind of goes out that way, curved. Because of the way the cameras work, it's really hard to see it, but it's definitely there. It goes all the way out across the hill and goes for like another mile. I'm gonna go ahead and find my machine, which is actually up here where Rob is. Um, they found a bunch of bullets in this little area, so that's where, <laughs> so that's where he wants to start. But I wanted to show you the trenches first. Let's get to it. As soon as we find something, I promise you, you won't hear me talking until we find something. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, I promise y'all that one. And my first relic of the day. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's actually the first hole. Had a nice, decent iron signal, so I went ahead and dug it. And this is a barrel band. This goes on a Civil War musket. Here's where a, uh, a bolt went through there to tighten it down. And this held the barrel, the metal barrel of the musket, to the wood stock on the forearm of it. That's a good relic right there. Awesome! Should we show Rob? <laughs> you know what that is? It's a barrel band for a musket. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, right. First signal. There. I found um, the cleaning rod. Oh, did you? Yeah. Like a ramrod? Yeah. Sweet. So, yeah. That's awesome, man. I told you I wasn't going to talk till I found something. Everybody's always complaining that I talk too much. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll show you what I'm hunting with today. I got the Gear 80 Max. I'm hunting in zero mode, zero discrimination, because I want to hear that iron. And there's a bunch right here. So I don't know if that's one big thing or a bunch of little things, or if it's even old, but we're gonna find out together. Oh, there it is, I bet. I would say this is not very old. That looks almost like a, maybe a fuel can or something. Not Civil War. Uh, mo cans and stuff like that, they did have cans like this. Or at least sheet iron cans like this, but they would have had lead solder around the seams, and this definitely does not have that. So I'm going to haul this out of here. Um, we're going to check the hole and see maybe there's a cannonball underneath it. Maybe no one dug here because this was here. They didn't want to, you know, have to carry it out. <laughs> I'll be quiet now. So underneath that can, I got another signal kind of irony, and I dug it up. I can see it, and it looks like something interesting. Um, let's look at it together. I haven't actually picked it up yet, but... It looks like a pocket knife. What do you think? Is it? That definitely is a pocket knife. I know, uh, may not be that old. This could have been part of something with it, with that, from that can. Uh, maybe you went out here cutting wood or something. But we'll take it for now. Next one will be gold. It's gonna be gold all over it. So we have our first squeaker. Reading in the 50s, so that could be a button or shotgun shell. I don't think it's very deep. If I do that first, because if a shotgun shell, a lot of times it'll it'll be out of the ground already, or it'll be off the ground. Okay, hasn't moved. Still reading the 50s. Let's go ahead and see what it is. Right about here. It's out of the hole. Right here, what is it? What is it? That's a shotgun shell. Now, uh, Rob said that there are a lot of these out here, so I probably won't show you any more of these signals unless I start finding buttons. I suspect we'll find a lot more of these. These are the uh, bases of shotgun shells, uh, the metal part, so. Gotta dig in though, if you wanna find buttons. It's just a nail, but not just 
just a nail. Oh yeah, yeah. The reason why it doesn't have the rust on it, like most nails, because it was burned in a hot fire. And there's a uh, whole often they get like that. Bunch of them right there. Hear any squeakers in there? No. <laughs> Might be worth yeah. digging out around a little bit, though. Yeah. You know, that's pretty cool, though, isn't it? I like that. So a big iron signal here, and I can see I got it partially uncovered. I have no idea what it is. Do you? Uh, yeah, we do. You know what that is? That's part of a stove, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> a fancy uh, part of like a wood-burning stove. Pretty sure about that. I think Rob said he found a bunch of this out here one other time. Dig the big iron though because it could be pistols or cannonballs or something else. A little bit more cool than this. Yeah, you got one too, huh? I, I think it's probably part of a stove. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good eye of horse. <laughs> A smiley face or a scary face. Oh, yeah, it is a scary. <laughs> Which one's scarier, guys? <laughs> I'm not saying. That's where Rob dug his piece of stove, and I dug mine right here, and I just dug this. I'm not sure what it is. It could be like a damper, maybe. You know, that would screw in and out of the stove to let air in and out, but I'm not really sure about that. We're going to keep digging some of this big iron, though. Mm. What'd you get? Two. Oh, oh, oh. oh <laughs> 12th Georgia, I'm huh? Start counting my head yeah. We have something very interesting right here that's iron. But Rob has something. He seems to be rather excited about, so let's go check. Just, okay, yeah, like a little uh, harness buckle or something. or a strap? Yeah, a little strap buckle of some sort. We've got like a cartridge box or force harness. Cool, man. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's go see what we have over here. But might be another piece of that stove. Check out the pin corner again. Make sure. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, another piece of that stove. That's like the fifth piece I've dug right here. So I'm gonna move on and get out of this general area for just a little bit. This is the area where I've been digging the pieces of that stove. I just wanted to listen to it. I think I hear a squeak in there. I'm not sure, but just listen how much iron's in here. That's where all those stove pieces came. I'm not going to dig those iron signals, but right in here, sounds like there might be a squeaker in the middle of that. So let's go ahead and dig that up together. Definitely more than one piece of iron, so it's a bunch of nails, probably. And uh, I think there's a squeaker. Maybe, we're lucky. A lot of wiring here, too. I haven't really showed you any of that, but. All right, let's see what we have. Something there. All right, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off and try to find it. If it's something good, I'll show it to you. If it's just iron, we'll keep moving. So this right here is why we're finding all these nails. One of the reasons is melted lead. So they had the campfires right in this area. That's why Rob found his uh, burn nail over there. And that was probably a bullet at one time, or piece of one anyway. Ah, excellent. Well, this particular camp has been hunted, you know, before, so we're not the first ones in. If we had been the first ones in here, it would be like kicking stuff out of the leaves like crazy. So we have to slow down a little bit, dig, dig some of those deeper signals, some of those questionable signals. Um, you know, just have to, you know, spend more time at it. Not like the old days. So Rob's in the area where he found that uh, burned nail, and there's a ton of nails right there. So he's going to go ahead and dig a little hole, kind of sift through it and see what else might be in there have to remember all the good signals are probably pulled off the top over the years by the hunters and uh, there could be some really good stuff in there like buttons and whatnot looks like he's down to the natural level there though so I probably wouldn't go too much deeper than that but definitely check out with the machine man signals disappear still on squeakers let me turn it to zero. This is a really good signal right here. It's not very deep, so I'm a little bit nervous. But I don't think it's a shotgun shell. See, it's reading the high 60s, 70s. Um, but it's not deep, so... I've dug a lot of shotgun shells. Now, if it's still in the ground, I'll be much happier. 
Oh yeah. That's a big one. Whatever it is, it's big. Okay, so from now on we'll have to be more careful. Yeah, it's a nice solid signal. I hope you can hear that. Wow. We'll get the pin pointer out. Alright. It's not very deep, I know that for sure. That's right in here. So that's about the center. Can you see it? <laughs> okay. All right, we'll try not to hit it with a shovel. Go off to the side. There's a root right there. I'll say just to the side of that root. Go down, we're gonna pop it up. Hope it's on a beer can. See it? I wanna be really careful though, because there is some, uh, it's a bullet, I can see it. Do you see it? Oh, it's a bunch of, it's at least two bullets. You can see at least two bullets. That's why it was so, so loud, it's not just one. Let's look at him. Do you see him? Do ya? Look, look. <laughs> All right, here's one right here. Now they're kind of dark looking because they're uh, uh, in this uh, wooded area. There's tannins, a lot of tannins for these oak trees. That's a Civil War mini ball. And there's another one right there. See it? Look. Whee! <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Let's check with the uh, pinpointer. See if there's more. Is there? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. I'm gonna have to move you back just a little bit. All right, let's get ready. There's another one here. Oh, look, it's in here. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. I can feel it. All right, here's another. That's three so far. Let's see if there's more. Oh, there's another one right there. Do you see it? I think that one's still buried. That one's still buried. If it's a bullet. <laughs> Oh, I think it's a big pile of bullets right here. This is awesome. So we know there's something right here. Bullets, something there, something here, something here, something here. This is not the ground. So there's targets all through this area. So we're going to go ahead and kind of dig it up carefully, okay? Um, I don't have a little trowel with me, but we'll manage. This is so exciting. Could be a belt buckle there, too, or a box plate, or a breastplate, or all three. Okay, so I set the three bullets right there, but we heard something in here. So I think we can just dig that with our fingers. It's really soft. I wonder if I should have gloves. See it? <laughs> Ow! That hurt my, hurt my finger. It's deeper than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really shallow. Maybe it's a belt buckle. Is it? Oh, look right there. It's a bullet. Right there, looky. Nice. That's another mini ball. Toss them over there, see if there's more. More. This one's deeper. Looky, right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look, look. I can see it. Right there, you see the white shining through. Oh buddy. There's a bunch of them in here, maybe a thousand. Or at least a half a dozen. Nice. Okay, let's put it right there. Let's check again. More. Oh, maybe that's it. We have exhausted this woods. Time to go home. <laughs> no, I know we were somewhere right here. There's one there. Okay, so it's at least one more. Right between these two things right here. Let's just take that with our fingers. Here we go. There we go. I like digging with my hands because, you know, you can feel the object. You know, that's how you find it. And hopefully it's not like a bottle cap with a big old chunk of broken glass on it. Okay, I'm down to the natural dirt right about there. Just about that level. So, hopefully we got it. Yep, we got it. I didn't miss it. I missed it, didn't I? There it is right there. Look. Look right here. You see it? It's a bullet. Nice. So what do we have? Six? Five? All right, let's look around, see if there's more in the hole. I'm gonna have to redo this. I think our burr heads here, I hear uh, Rob talking up there. There might be something, there might be something in here. I'm gonna go ahead and move the bullets to the side and I uh, wanna dig this out a little bit. I'll take about two inches off. So we have to take a little break. Uh, Rob just called me back. He's in that spot where uh, he was digging all those nails and stuff. 
he's digging all the dirt around so let's see what he has thinks he has something not sure yet Ooh, it's a cannon ball. I bet that's a shell, man. It's a shell. It looks like a, uh, I think it might be exploded if it is, though. You think? Uh, it could be. At first, it looked like it that was. That edge looked kind of weird. Yeah, it's. Ah, uh, that's it's exciting. Uh, Get it. <laughs> it's so exciting. Uh, what is it? Ooh. What is it? I don't like the looks of it, Rob. It's not a cannonball. No. It is a lid. Oh, man. God. I thought that was a cannonball so when deceiving. I saw it. So <laughs> deceiving. I swear. <laughs> Could have been, though. I yeah. mean, I'm sure, you know, it's probably not that much different signal around a lid like that. Could be off like a coffee pot or something. Yeah. Well, there's a fire here. Yeah. That That's pretty deep, deep too, for yeah. this woods. Everything's been really shallow. And it was ringing 80s. Wow, maybe there's a whole bunch of belt buckles in the hole. We better check it. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of relic hunting. You never know. Oh, it's all fun, though. Oh, it is. I guarantee it. Yeah, he's got another signal. Pretty decent, he thinks. It's hard to say, though, because it's in a root and you can't really move the head. But let's watch him dig that. You see some rust. No. It's not a good sign. There it is. What is it? It's a rivet. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I don't know what that is. It's iron though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, definitely save that and we'll clean it up, see what it see if we can figure out what it goes to. Oh, nice. Never seen anything quite oh that's a, that's the uh, top to it. The thing oh, you hold yeah. on to. Your lid. Yeah it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe you'll find a coffee grinder in there next. I know. That'd be awesome. Uh, Snake? Move, it just kind of freaks you out, especially Rattle you moccasin? Know. Where's it at? Oh, right there. It's a little oh. dude. Yeah, I bet he's cold, huh? Why well, can't you pick it up? Maybe you should pick him up and put him in your coat. Keep yeah. Him he will too, Rob. Don't tell him that. Poor little thing. Where he yeah, he should be in the leaves somewhere down deep. So I finally made it back to the little spot where I was finding the bullets and it sounds like there's more here. Those are the six that we have so far and I just want you to listen to this area. Uh, hopefully you can see the meter. I just want you to take a listen here. That's where the bullets were right there and there's definitely more. Hopefully you can hear that. So there's at least another bullet or two right there and I think I heard some over here. Iron. A lot of iron in this spot right here too. Okay, so I think there's another, probably another bullet right there. I'm going to go ahead and just clear that back. And we'll dig that in a minute. Ooh, that's a pretty good squeak right there. It's not very deep if it's a bullet, but it's something good right there. It's definitely not a shotgun shell. Oh, look, there's one there. There's one there. There's a pile of bullets right in here. That's that one we just heard. Huh. That sounds like iron. Oh, that was my shovel. <laughs> cool, man. We got a bunch of bullets right here. That's probably iron. I just want to kind of take a peek around here, see if there's a lot more stuff. Okay, I'm not hearing anything over here. So let's go ahead and dig these things up. All right, let's start. Uh, let's just keep going with this one here. This is where we found the six right here. Yeah, it's one, two, three. So there's uh, at least three right here. All right, let's try this one. Get the uh, pinpointer out. So they're a little deeper than the pinpointer will go. I'll have to hit it with a shovel. Like they're just in front of that. See anything? Do ya? <laughs> I gotta quit saying that. Oh no, there's one right in here. Oy. It's unfortunate, it's a root. Probably can't even see that, can you? All right, I'm gonna move you just a little bit. All right, hopefully you can see that. Just want something there. I think I might have dug this one up already. Over here. 
No, that's still in the ground. <laughs> you probably can't see that. I don't know which one to dig. Okay. Ah, I moved it. All right, right there. That was a shallow one right there, wasn't it? Nice. Oops, dropped it in the bag. There's one here by that root. Huh. That's a tough one, isn't it? There it is. I can feel it. It's like a nut. Let's see if that's a mini ball. It's a <laughs> dropped it. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, it's another mini ball right there. Let's see what else we got. There's one way over there. That might be the camera. Let's go get this one real quick. We'll be right in here. Go ahead and move you over. All right, move you over to the new spot. It'll be right here. That's where the pinpoint was going up. All right, you see it? All right, pinpointer. Uh-oh. Yeah, still enough. It's in this loose dirt in the side right here. Is that it? <laughs> too excited so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and dig around a little bit get some of these bullets out of the ground if I hear anything that sounds different than a bullet we'll get the camera back out but this could be all day just digging these things so let me go ahead and just work the area for a few minutes I'll be back I promise so I've dug quite a few bullets in this little area and I had this really high squeaker I thought oh boy it's gonna be a belt buckle I was kicking on leaves back and this came rolling out of the leaves it's not a belt buckle, but what it is, is a giant piece of lead. This is probably a sabot from the uh, from an artillery shell. Hotchkiss, I would guess. So, nice big old chunk of lead right in the leaves. Could easily have been a belt buckle. Put it in the bag. So I moved away from that area where I got those bullets. I got a probably dozen or more, I'm not even sure. And I got another good signal here. The hole's partially dug. It's probably another bullet. Um, Hopefully, it's, not, it's not a shotgun shell. I've actually probably dug six or eight of those too on the way down the hill. The signal here is nice and solid. It's reading like around the 70s. Oh, I dug a knapsack hook too, which is pretty cool. Um, outside of the hole. So whatever it is, it's right in here. We should be able to see it or feel it. So I'll have to break down and get the pinpointer out. One more. Ah, oh, there it is, shotgun shell. This was actually reading higher. Most shotgun shells in here have been reading like in the 50s. This was 70, so must have been just sitting just right. I will check the hole, and um, but I don't think there's anything else. Nah, nothing else there. All right, next signal, or well, the next time you see me, I'll have a relic. I got a really good signal under this log behind me. I kicked it, uh, the leaves with my foot, and I can see a knife sticking out. I think it might be Civil War or not, but it's a knife. What do you think? Is it a good one? Probably somebody's hunting knife, I guess. Or murder weapon. Oh, fuck! Murder! <laughs> I, I have a feeling that's not a great knife, is it? <laughs> Somebody broke it. Hmm. All right, let's see what kind it is. Maybe it's Confederate. Frost, USA. Yep. It's broken. Probably somebody's deer knife or digging knife. Probably digging knife, actually. We'll, ah! <laughs> we'll carry it out. Red rum. Maybe it really is murder. I found the knife right over there. And look where I just found here. Where the knife came from. I just found a belt. Maybe somebody's murdered in here. What do you think? Should we look around some more? Or should we just leave immediately? Let's look. You find something? Yep. So What'd you get? Right where a bunch of stuff was found, and it, there was a dig hole right next to it. Oh, sweet. Nice little J-hook. Yeah, man. It's off a knapsack? Yep. That's a nice so big I'm target. I'm on the board. I'm huh? on the board. I'm on the board yeah, man. Awesome. I'm struggling for a little Woo. while. <laughs> Congratulations. Pretty much back to where we started in the beginning of the day. I got a little squeaker here. I figure I'll go ahead and dig it. Um, we won't go out here too much longer because the sun is uh, going down. 
right here where I cleared it off. Let's see if you can hear that. It's a little bit higher than the shotgun shell. So hopefully it's something good. Right about here, I think. You see it? I've dug so many shotgun shells today. I don't believe how many shotgun shells I've dug. All right, that should have gotten out of the hole. Yeah, it's in the 70s now, so hopefully it's a bullet. Should be right in here. I'm gonna move the camera. Beep. How's that? It's in here. There it is, a bullet. Yeah, I got another mini ball. Uh, I dug quite a few of these today. And a couple buttons, but they uh, fell apart. But I'll show you everything in a little bit. Okay, so what did we find today? We found a couple of bullets and a lot of shotgun shells. A couple of bullets? Yep. Even more shotgun shells. <laughs> what and else? We one got knife like a and, and a golf ball. Oh, that's a nice one. You want Even that one? A bow. All right, let's take a close up yeah. of them, okay? So we're gonna start here. These are what? These are shotgun shells, right? Yeah, they're shotgun. They're all the bases of the shotgun shells, and we got a, a knife. But I think that's not too Can old, I probably. Have a knife? That's a pocket knife. Can I have a pocket knife? Maybe. Look, this is a part of a like. A... Hold it still. <laughs> What's it part of? It's a part of a like a real gun. Yeah, it's yeah. a barrel bend for a musket. Well, it's a barrel. It's a musket. Okay, then we found, let's see, Part what else? Of this is the two button backs. These are the backs, the eagle buttons, but the front fell Even off. Even with a trash. Got Blank. some trash, a bunch of bullets, a horseshoe, got a knife. Even Murder. Hey, Maybe. Look. Got some more shotgun shells. Those are the, the whole uh, plastic and all. Yeah, those are barrel bands. A different type of barrel band. Got yeah. a belt. All right, golf sure. ball. You clean the golf ball, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, we're going to sign off. You want to sign off? Even What's the word? Everything is all a joke. No. no. Have some good uh, stuff. We have some Wait. good stuff. How about... Wait. Hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see ya. Say wave bye-bye. Bye. Wave. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> wave. <laughs> Until I go to sleep She'll shake the coins from your pocket Take your gold chain and your locket Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand